Early morning, pitch black in my room, time to make an ill-advised decision. Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Get On With It Uninvited. In 1986, ICOM Simulations devel developed this adventure game. It was originally for the Macintosh, but the game's popularity allowed it to be ported to several other systems, including the, the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991. Hold on. Sorry, for some reason I was just short of breath there. <laughs> My bad, uh. And this morning, uh, I shall be guiding you through this uh, haunted, horrific adventure evil game thing. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, ill-advised decision to do this this morning. I don't have all my wits about me. It's dark in here. Now, among the varied ports of Uninvited, the Nintendo port is the most different. Uh, now, to better fit the Nintendo, the developers altered the storyline, simplified the text, and removed some of the offensive material. Uh, some of the gruesome deaths that you could encounter in the original have been toned down. Uh, crosses were replaced because Nintendo really wanted to shy away from that stuff. In other features, yeah, that they were removed. Uh, on the other hand, music was added to this port. Now, as I've conveyed in recent videos, 8-bit uh, music haunts my childhood, and even now, uh, old tunes that we will encounter in this game will still give me goosebumps. Chill me to the very core of my 4,000-plus-year-old being. So, uh, consequently, despite all the uh, watered-down text of the game, uh, I believe this version will be the most fun for our Let's Get On With It adventure. I may also decide to record the graphically superior, more challenging, story faithful Windows port, but if I do, that will be at a later time. For now, let's get on with it, shall we? Look out. The last thing you remember before blacking out was a shadowy figure appearing in the road in front of you. You heard your sister cry out as you swerved the car into this tree. You realize that you are alone. Your sister must have gone for help. The smell of gasoline fills the air. You must have punctured the tank. You pry yourself free of the steering wheel, intent on finding your sister. All right, folks. So, uh, we have our premise here. We, uh, while driving along the road, we encountered some sort of shadowy drunken stranger. And we just so happened to crash into this tree. Well, we just pried ourselves off from the steering wheel. It's time to examine our surroundings here. First thing we're going to do, though, I mean, we should save the game. Stars forbid, you know. Something wrong happened. We had to start from the scratch. Through this mirror, you see the road behind you. Okay. Through the windshield, you see the exterior of a mansion. It's the car door. Okay, that's reasonable. This steering wheel has guided you in and out of traffic for a year now. It has a new leather cover on it. Lovely. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Your laziness has cost you your life. And possibly the life of your sister. As fire from the gas tank engulfs the car. Your quest is over. Goosebumps, children. Continue. Okay, so uh, let's not dally around here. As a matter of fact, uh, the Nintendo port, uh, we I, I could clear through this game in fucking 15 minutes. Under that, could be damn done. Bam wham, know exactly how to get through this. And uh, in the the, uh, the original and the Windows port that I have, you actually have to do that. You have to go through this pretty quickly because there is a time limit restriction on this game. And if you don't figure out how to solve the puzzle, you will lose the game. In the Nintendo version, that was mostly removed. Instead, uh, that time limit thing was put on one item. So if you pick up the item you carry it around for long enough, you're fucked. Otherwise, you can dilly-dally and explore as much as you want. Which is what we're going to be doing, because... I can, and you have a right to witness all the deaths we will undoubtedly encounter. So, uh, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to take this door, and we're going to open it with some effort, 
and then we're going to get our asses out. An explosion erupts behind you as your car bursts into flames. At least it will save you the cost of a tow. You find yourself standing in front of an old mansion. It gives you the creeps. I'm using my melodramatic announcer voice uh, this morning, apparently. I, I don't have all of my wits about me, so I can't really put forth that much effort. So let, let, let's just uh, take a gander around, examine and explore, see what's happening around here. It's a marble statue of a young Grecian man. What about the mansion itself? The mansion is cold and foreboding. You sense great evil within. You ended that sentence with a preposition. I disapprove. Within, yes. It's a wooden door. You see nothing unusual. The mansion is cold and foreboding. Okay. Ooh. It's a mailbox. Could there be mail inside? Well... <laughs> A car just burst into flames. We have no idea where our sister is. We're undoubtedly stunned and confused a bit. I'm interested about mail. Let's open this mailbox. <sighs> we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. It's a letter from our friends. This note reads... Dear Master, please forgive me. My health prevents me from aiding you in your battle against the evil Drakan. You teach your students well. They become too powerful for their own good. Enclosed is an amulet that you should look familiar. Wear this charm and think of me? <laughs> Awkward. The undead will surely fear it. Hmm. So I, as a potential necromancer, should totally keep this thing. Still the evil, my friend. Set it free for the sake of the family. Fare thee well. Man, that was so fucking long-winded. Okay, so uh, let's take a gander at this pendant here. It's a pendant with a large jewel set in it. I approve. Let's take the pendant. Woohoo! It's ours now! And oh shit! You pick up the pendant, and it begins to sparkle. Then, the door of the mansion opens and dares you to enter! What? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Whenever I pick up pendants, they sparkle, and doors of mansions dare me to enter? I disapprove. Could your sister be in there? I don't know. Did the pendant sparkle for her? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, page back here to our property. And uh, we shall move through this uh, welcoming entry. As you enter, the door slams shut behind you. <laughs> well, gee, who guessed that one? No points awarded if you actually figured out that was going to happen. That's just a staple of... Uh, Adventure slash horror games. Come on now. This foyer is large and luxurious room. Still, it seems strangely oppressive. That's nice. Well, we should take the time to explore. It's a painting of a great eagle diving with extended talons. What about this? It's a painting of a great snake. Snake! Metal Gear! Yeah, but how does it taste? There's dried wood in the fireplace. The chair looks like it's worth a bundle. Of wood? I don't know. The couch looks soft. You feel something hard sewn into it. Okay. The chair looks like it's worth a bundle. Okay, so if there's something hard in my couch, what do I do? I hit it. Damn it, nothing happens. While we're dawdling around, we should take the time to examine ourselves. Although you're tired and hungry, you're determined to find your sister. Speak with myself. Now what should I do, you ask yourself. You know you must be losing your mind because you're talking to yourself. Horary! <laughs> Use. Self. Nothing happens. 
Open. Self. It won't open. Close. Self. You can't do that. Take. Self. You can't take it. Leave. Self. You can't drop what you didn't take. <laughs> I am blowing this game's mind. Hit. Self. Knocking on wood gives you an idea. <laughs> oh, this game is so snarky. I love it. Okay, so we have two doors here. We're going to take the one on the right. And we shall move... You can also move uh, along this way. You don't have to move over. So here we go. This room was designed for deep thought and research. Alright. What's out here? This star chart shows Orion and... Casso... Cass... Oh, shit. Cassiopeia. We'll go with that. I like that. It's a bookcase filled with many fine books. This antique globe is rusted into position and no longer spins. If I hit it, will it spin? Nothing happens. Damn it. Oh, it's a book. It's a large ancient book. Is that a pentagram on it? Surely it must be interesting then. Open the mag book. <laughs> Ma I presume that means magic book. Well, don't just sit there. Examine it. About magic in general. Magic is not good nor bad. If it is used properly, good may result from it. If it is not used properly, terrible things can happen. What follows are a few magical spells. From nothing it shall form, and none shall see thee. Claudice. Hooray! Awake to a sleep, movement to still, six legs or more, bend to your will. Stellini. If it only was so easy to learn magic spells. If the path is barred with more than one, the storm to come to make them run. Thunderdy! <laughs> From here to there, when stone walls and pair. Telemaze! That's, that, that's just raffle. Too easy. The fucking Windows port doesn't have that bullshit at all. Windows port takes your spells and haha -ha lols all over them. Ah, Magbook disappeared. Is that too loud? Nah, we'll keep it going. Alright, that's enough. Let's leave out of here. You are inside the mansion's foyer. Alrighty. Open the door. I did. This hallway is much too quiet. You feel like something is waiting to get you. For some reason, I'm not taking this game that seriously. I, I'm normally a bit more dour and, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, have a save again. Alrighty! It's a small painting of a young fellow. That's lovely. That's a window? The scene looks... The scene through the dirty window looks pretty grim. So we just came out of there. We got all these doors to try. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Let's open this door. Whoa! A strange woman appears. She is dressed like Scarlett O'Hara. Interesting. Let's have a chat see with her. I love Scarlet Letter. You speak to her and she says... Thank you for coming back for me, my love. You will be mine forever. Aww. Aww, that, that, that's adorable. That's precious. You, 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 you won't mind, though, of just, uh, right, right before we, we become each other forever. I'm just gonna open this door. Oh. Oh, you do mind. You have gotten the attention of the mysterious lady. She turns to face you. Her face is devoid of any flesh. You are frozen with horror as she begins ripping you apart. She laughs hysterically as your body slumps to the ground. Your quest is over. What? I feel cheated! <laughs> Let, I, I got this! Fuck you! 
Okay. Yes, yes. We're leaving this fucking place. I tried to be nice to you, but I'm gonna have to pull out my dragon boxing ninjutsu attacks. Prepare yourself! Damn it! Apparently domestic abuse is unacceptable. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes. Well, I I have no idea why the hell I'm not terrified, but I... I think I'm just on uh, sleep-deprived stupidity courage right now. This is amazing. I guess it's because I know I can't humiliate myself that bad for the internet. And because some of the features in this game are really funny. I'm happy I'm not getting goosebumps anymore. This is great. So, this is the logic puzzle we've got here. We're not going to be allowed to go through any of the doors on this floor until we deal with the ghost. Now, clearly, uh, just trying to uh, open a door anyway does not work. And uh, pulling out ninja hacks also does not work. So, let's go upstairs. She won't be up here. The floor creaks under your weight. Well, that's not scary. It's not going to collapse, is it? You see nothing unusual. Hmm. It's a giant stuffed fish. What? Speak to the giant stuffed fish. It seems that no one has heard you. Damn it! I feel cheated. Open the door. I did! It's a small closet. Okay, so we have a bunch of goodies in here. Uh, in Uninvited, you're only gonna end up using about half the items you find. So people who love to pick up everything so that they can solve a puzzle... I mean, I guess that's cool in one way, if you have everything in your inventory, but it can take a while. And actually, uh, it, uh, you, you'll have limited inventory space. Uh, not in this version, I don't think, but in, like, in the Windows port. So you can't just carry around everything and haha, ha lols, hope for the best. So we have some pesticide here. We have a filthy bowl. We have a soapbox. Is it all temperature soap? We have a black ashtray. Oh, we actually have a light switch there. Let's use that. When you pull the chain, the light turns on. Oh, phew. Glad we have the light on now. That's a pretty dirty box. It's so dust covered, you can't see its original color. We have a teeth mar we have teeth marks over an old box. We have a can labeled spider cider. The instructions read Knocks out arachnids and has been proven effective by leading entomologists. That sounds useful! Take. And finally, what do we have here? The capped bottle's label reads, No ghost. Use when you want the dead guests to return to their world. Scarlet O'Hara seems like a dead ghost. We'll take that too. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. I love how you tell me things in present tense, game. Like, I'm the... Open the hat box. It's a hat! Oh my god! It's a hat! Let's examine the hat! This is amazing! It's an old hat. The owner must have had a small head. Well, I don't have a small head. I have a big head. It has to fit my incredibly massive brain in cranium. Close the dirty box. It's a box of detergent. You close the soap box. We're not taking the hat, children. We don't need the hat. We're leaving. Okay. Second floor hallway. Let's come back down here. I got this shit. Saving the game? I'm gonna show you. Open. Oh! Oh, you thought you could haunt me in an alternate reality? I got you, bitch. I got this shit covered. What would you like to use this on? I want to use this on... What? Nothing... What do you mean nothing comes out? You didn't open the bottle. That's right, kids. You remember the description that said that the no ghost was capped? Well, uh, apparently you're too stupid to uncap a bottle. Unfortunately, you caught her attention during all this stupidity. And, uh, you are fucked. Um, there are different types of music in this game that I like to, um, I, I, I've named. 
And I've told a few people who I've, I've told this game to how it is. Like, we have our normal adventure music, kind of like this. Just walking around, having a good time. And, you know, more or normal adventure music. Let's open our bottle of No Ghost. Now attempt to open this door. Summon her. And, uh, whenever she catches you, uh, there's the You Fucked Up music where it goes da da dun 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 which means you're gonna die. Then there's the Your Quest Is Over bullshit music, which means you're actually dead now. Oh, Oops. You pour the foul-smelling liquid on the bell. She lets out a horrifying scream as she begins to melt away. No ghost is gone. We don't need it anymore. What shall we be doing next, though? We're gonna finally go through this fucking door. And... This parlor has lost little of its original charm. Parlor? Bullshit. Wait, it looks like we can escape out there. Open. I'm not trapped in the mansion anymore. Freedom! From here, you have a splendid view of the desolate estate. A large black spider quickly runs by you along the railing. That's kind of creepy. Okay. So, uh, we could, we could make our escape, right? The deserted land spreads out before you. Run! What do you mean I can't do that? Fuck this place. My sister's re 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 She's fucking stupid. I don't want to be here anymore. No. No. Fuck. Okay. So, uh, another small puzzle here. You saw that this was spider cider and can deal with arachnids. We're going to take that spider along. He's going to be our own pet. We're going to tame him and train him. It leaves the railing sticky. <laughs> Shut up, Grimmett. Okay, so we're in the parlor. Now we're gonna move back out there. You're on the veranda. <gasps> the spider becomes paralyzed as it comes into contact with the spider cider. Okay, you're gonna be my own little pet boo. You're my giant space spider. Take the spider. Examine the spider. The pesticide seems to have stopped the spider. It's still alive, but it's just paralyzed. It's like it was caught in my own fiendish web. I'm so malevolent. Alrighty. Our next plan is to open this door. And move on through... To the dining room. This is an impressive sight. You could throw a terrific birthday bash in this room. Hmm. The finely cut crystals dangling around the light throw tiny rainbows about the room. What? <laughs> Not tiny rainbows. This painting shows an eagle flying off with a snake in its talons. Lovely. It's a painting of a landscape. What is this bowl? It's a fruit basket. I love fruit baskets. But you probably you don't appear to have any fruit. It's a bouquet of flowers. These would look good on a tombstone. My tombstone? My pizza? I don't want flowers on my pizza. You're doing it wrong. Yes. Anyway, let's uh, move on. We're going to enter this room next. Behold, we are in the kitchen. This kitchen seems to have been a recent addition. Oh my. Could there be anything to eat here? Let's find out. What is this? This cookie jar is quite large. Cookie jar? Nothing's in here. Damn it! I feel cheated. Nothing was in the jar, son of a bitch. Ooh. This pan is coated with one of those no-stick surfaces. A no-stick pan? I love no-stick pans. Nothing's in here. Damn it. Nothing's in here. Damn it! Where's your food at? I demand sustenance. Ooh. It's a meat cleaver, just like the butchers on TV commercials use. Fascinating. This is a very sharp little blade. Hmm. Is this a trick? Some kind of trap? I don't know, children. Oh, dear. Why, why, why did you stop? 
Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do. My window's in focus. My pocket computer. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. And we're gonna save. You know what? Fuck it. Save state. That way we can immediately load back. Because we have the great idea here. Oh, this is such a pretty knife. Oh, as you were fooling around, the knife one slipped out of your hand. Oh no, knife one cut you. You're really bleeding. It looks like you're going to die here. Too bad for your sister. <laughs> Oops. That didn't happen. <laughs> yes, you can commit suicide in this game. It's awesome. Yep, we opened the door you can't see. Except on the little mini-map there. And we are in a pantry. It smells musty and stuffy. When you pull the chain, the light turns on. Wait, what is that? What is that? It's iodized salt? No, oh, that's not interesting at all. Wait, what is that? What is that? Cooking thermo- Ah, oh, damn it, it's broken. Wait, that looks like food. You can't- Damn it. I wanted to use it on myself. An age... Second thought, no. It's a box of matches. Did somebody say sold? Didn't even buy anything. Yet it's sold. It won't open. Oh. It's not actually like a matchbox that I can open and use individual matches out of. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go through this door then. I mean, we're here. We might as well. Whoever had occupied this room must have been satisfied with small accommodations. The lack of dust tells you that this is a servant's room. Okay. Let's take a look around. This bottle of cologne is labeled Horse Trade. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Is that a comb? The bristles of this dirty brush are filled with strands of gray hair and white specks. That sounds pretty unfortunate. Nothing's in here. You closed the bureau. Well, damn. I think we need some light here, children. Let's turn on the light. With a click, you turn on the floor lamp. It seems that there is a book set inside the wall. Suddenly, a spirit, covered in chains, stands before you. This is my room. Who let you in here? Drakan must have sent you. You cannot have it. You cannot have my precious. I have hidden it. No, you must leave. Leave me and my precious alone. Yes, all alone. Listen, I, I don't respond well to people just fucking ninjing in front of me. I, I disapprove. Screw you. The screaming apparitions misty form engulfs you and you become covered in a thick sticky goo <laughs> it's acid it doesn't take long for it to dissolve your body your quest is over mm. well shit I got this everybody I know how you deal with acid the match burst into flames. What are you going to set on fire? If you set acid on fire... Perhaps not. Hold on, children. I... I... Just look at you. It appears to be a ghostly figure of a man dressed in very outdated clothing. He is carrying a burden of chains. Ah, huh. so... Maybe I can relieve your burden for you. Could we perhaps talk about the matter? This is my room. Who let you in here? Just no. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So. Hmm. Would you like a spider? You wheel back and throw the unconscious spider at the ghost. 
the ghost shrieks at the sight of the sun stunned spider. Flustered and frightened, the spirit dissolves from view. Yeah. If spirits like these are really thwarting the forces of evil, it's no wonder the forces of evil are doing such a fucking miraculous job at everything. No, oh, I'm just an arachnophobe, even though I'm dead already and have nothing to fear from the spiders. Excuse me as I proceed to cry like a wussy. I mean, if you're alive, that's one thing, but come on, man. Open the diary three. This diary reads, The master would not or could not, so I have stolen Drakan's star. He is an evil soul. Unlike the master, he uses his power for amusement and profit. He is not concerned with spiritual enlightenment. There is no compassion with his power. I grow weak. I am dying. I have hidden the star in Master's special box. It never opens. It has no locks. Drakan's star never discerns. In fire it freezes. In ice it burns. Okay, that's kind of creeping. Oh, hi. So, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, ease right on out of here. Glad we learned that important tidbit. Glad we uh, solved that important part of the, uh, I guess the mystery, you could say. Yeah. We are absolutely appear to be getting nowhere. And uh, we're going to continue to get nowhere, I presume. You know what? We should go back upstairs. Screw that door. Let's go up here. Alrighty, we are now upstairs. It's true, we're here. I think this is the door that I need to go into. So let's go through this door. This must be the master's bedroom. There's a stale smell smell about this room. Oh. Oh, well, right while we're here, we can, uh... Open the diary too and examine it. This diary reads, I have lost control of Drakan. My star student now fancies himself a master. Though his power is strong, his spirit is weak. He is easily corrupted by the dark spirits of greed and power. My servant, more aware than I, sealed his star in my hingeless box. They're locked away beyond his stare. I've hidden the key, a chair knows where. Okay. So that actually gives the clue to where uh, the key is located to get in there. In this case, we need to go back downstairs. You folks uh, remember that uh, couch? The couch with the bump in it? Yes. We shall uh, begin to make filet couch. You slice open the couch and find a key. I like keys. Give me your key. What do you mean? What? Stop that. Silly nonsense. It's my fucking key. Because that's the sound you make whenever you take keys. It's like you're devouring them. Yes. Yes, that makes perfect sense. How, how did I not think of this? You are inside the master bedroom. Fantastic. Use key one. There. Click. The closet is unlocked. Did you just see me save the game? You did. Oh, that's lovely. Examine. Bottle two. A dark liquid slosh is inside this bottle. Why? Can I use it in there? You can't use what you did. Oh, of golly gee willikers. I'm gonna take it. We have bottle two. It's ours. It's our property. I think it's time for a pint. Bottles, swig, what have you. Nothing happens. Really? <laughs> Damn. That's actually of all the things. Huh. Okay. Let's, let's just ignore that. Was I expecting something to happen? Yes. Am I surprised? Yes. So, oh. Right, this box won't open. The box has been shrink-wrapped. What's this? It seems to be generating heat inside. 
Interesting. We'll just take this shrink wrapped box. And uh, take a gander at these scrolls here. If we can. It's a rolled up scroll. Sealed with wax. Can we open it? Open the scroll too. It reads, Gold, silver, and mercury. Together they form a key. What? Scroll 3. What is this, Taboo, the time machine of Nintendo? The scroll reads, The heart of the garden maze contains the Blothny gem. It is guarded by He Who Moves as the Moon. That... Okay. So, we're gonna pretend none of that happened there. What, what is that? Nothing... Oh, just candle. Got it. Let's go ahead and open this door. And I never examined that. You see nothing... Damn it! The eyes of the man in this f photograph are dark and sunken. Doesn't look like a photograph at all of a man. Wait, what? Reads Terry Marsh, Duchess of Trent. What about here? Miss Vicky Porter. I see. Fucking creepy ass music. Oh, hey! The decor of this room could be described as African Art Deco. Awesome. You let out a startled scream at the sight of your own reflection. You can't remember ever looking so awful. Be careful, you wouldn't want to be caught dead looking like this. <laughs> There's orange... What? Orange liquid? I'm interested. Bottle three? I choose you! Damn it. <laughs> I feel so deceived. You see not... Wait, what? This relatively plain vial contains... Oh, okay. Okay, throw me a freaking bone here. Take the bottle four! Come on, survey says! Damn! <laughs> no, I'm not trying to commit suicide. <laughs> it's a soft towel. This little Indian man looks like some kind of voodoo doll. This is an ancient African ceremonial mask. It used to be the skin of a zebra. Now it serves as the mat on the back. That's enough. We've had enough of this place. I'm thoroughly disappointed. I try to kill myself, and this this is how you treat me? You know what? Screw you. I'll show you. I know how to kill myself. That's right. Spiral staircase leads to the second floor. We should turn on the light. I like lights. Lights are good. Especially since mine's not on. When you pull the chain, the light turns on. What is that? Is that a battle axe? Although this axe is old, it is still very sharp. Splendid! I like axes! Take the axe. The axe is in hand. Save the game. What am I about to do? You guessed it! Oh! As you were fooling around, the axe slipped out of your hand. I rolled a one! Critical miss! Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Oh no! Axe cut you! You're really bleeding! It looks like you're going to die here. I love how it uses six exclamation points right there and then... Oh, let down. You're gonna die here. Damn, that's... Oops. Too bad for your sister. Well then. Fuck. Didn't happen. La 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 la. Let's, uh, head on this up the stair- Ow. Oh. Fuck you. You know what I meant, game. Iron bars are set on the floor and go up to the ceiling. Has someone been kept in there as punishment for betraying the master? What the fuck do I pull that from? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do I ninja that up? My, the, the, uh, the protagonist here is extremely uh, creative. Well, okay. Those are windows, right? See a window through the iron bars. The door is made of iron bars. Can we open the, the door made of iron bars? You pull open the cell door. Surprise! A hideous skeleton forms inside the cell. In a deathly dry voice, it says, There is no escape from here. There is no escape. 
No escape. Thinking about Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 right now with ghosts marching after you yelling, No escape! I was thinking about making a joke about him saying, Welcome to Quickie Bot, how may I help you? <laughs> or something crazy like that. His voice fades out as the image fades. What time is it? Damn. Okay. So, that music. So aggravating. Shut up. I'll turn it back up. So, he was clearly complaining about not being able to escape. I need to go see exactly what's going on. I mean, there's windows on there, right? What's the... Worst that could... As you enter the cell, you hear the door slam shut behind you. <sighs> Haunted places and their shut doors. Well, all we'll just do is... There is no escape! You are trapped! Oh. Eventually, you die, and your spirit joins the others on the estate. Well, fuck. Didn't happen. <laughs> Fuck this place. You're inside a room with a spiral staircase. You're on the second floor hallway. Because you guys can't read it all and I totally have to read for you. Let's explore this bedroom. It seems to be an ordinary bedroom. That's why there's a press of music playing in the background. You feel very, very weak. Pressure begins to bear down on you. Uh -huh. Awkward. <laughs> this abstract painting has no signature upon it. I'm glad we're taking time to examine paintings. The cushy bed offers a little support for your bad back. A stain adorns this leather-covered diary. Well, let's take a gander at it then, shall we? While pressure is weighing upon us. Open the diary one. This diary reads, My star is gone, but not lost. Master servant will pay for his betrayal. The vehicle of my power has not yet served its purpose. When it sets me free, I will have a chance to realize my unlimited potential. The forces of the technological society will be unprepared for the likes of me. I will not be denied. My victory is inevitable. That's wonderful. Rainbow kittens for everybody. We're going to open this table, and we're going to open the scroll here. What does it say? The scroll reads, Doll, doll, wilt thou lead the lost? You memorize the magic words. Oh. I, I forgot about that. I thought that was just like some sort of like game hint. It's an actual spell. <laughs> Glad I decided to explore this room. It's a large mirror. That's splendid. Can I open that? Nothing's in here. Damn it. Ooh, I'm sure that'll be less oppressive. That's probably another bathroom, isn't it? Ooh, this bathroom is cold and blank space dark. You notice that there is no toilet. Well, like every grown-up, he totally uses the sink or the bathtub, right? <laughs> I mean, if he's a male, and I presume that he is. I mean, what else do you need? It's a mirror with a beautiful frame. You take a moment to check your hair. <sighs> is that soap? This bar of soap emits no odor. What about this? It's a... Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. This light fixture seems to have been shaped to be gripped. Really? Nothing happens. Can I hit it? It's too high to... Hmm. Step stool. Remember the step stool. Open the hamper. Towel to... No. <laughs> Don't forget to bring a towel! The towel's staying in there, children. Sorry if you're disappointed, but no. We don't need a towel. You are on the second floor hallway. Let's explore this final room before we head back downstairs. You know, just to say, we've been everywhere here. 
The bedroom is sparsely furnished. It is probably a guest bedroom. Oh, really? Before there was solid state technology, there were big radios. Radios? You turn on the radio, hoping to hear some tunes, but it doesn't work. Damn it! You've abandoned me! All I hear is Radio Goo Goo! Radio Gaga! Damn it! Ooh. Open the bureau. It's a ruby! Oh my gosh! I love rubies! I love gemstones! It's a large, blood-red ruby. You feel some sort of strange power running through it. Now, uh, this item, I'm not going to be picking this up uh, to showcase this death. So you're going to have to trust me on this one. In lieu of the time limitation for Nintendo, what was placed is this item. An item to punish people who love to pick up all the items they can at adventure games. If you carry this around in your inventory for long enough, you will lose the game. Because it will corrupt your soul and turn you into a spirit. Also, I know, right? Now, uh, whereas, like, say, in the Windows port, you can drop items anywhere you please, once you pick up an item in this game, you're only allowed to drop it in one place. Which, you know, it's pretty, it describes itself fair enough, but still, you might not know which item it is that's causing this, and you don't figure it out until it's too late. Especially if you've never played the game before. This game is friendly enough to require you to uh, try massive amounts of trial and error. Fun shit. Fun shit for everybody. Anyway, there was nothing special in that room. Let's go down here. Uh, we're gonna head back into the foyer. You know, children, I'm pretty cold. It's cold outside. I don't know about you children, but... I think I'm gonna warm us up. Hope you're okay with that. Hope you find that acceptable. The match burst into flames. What are you going to set on fire? You see that log? When the flame is put near the firewood, it starts burning. Splendid! Hey, you remember that box that was warm? We're gonna throw that in the fire. When you throw the box in the fireplace, it burns up. Ooh. Clouds of smoke billow from the fireplace. The light reflects off of the star with blinding radiance. It's Dracon's star. It must have been in the box. Well, that sounds like it'll be useful to keep around. We'll take that. <laughs> take the star. This heavy brass star bears the inscription, Fire and Ice. Splendid! Alright, everybody. It's a quiet hallway. Hooray! <laughs> what gave that away? Was it the fact that it's a quiet hallway? <laughs> uh, okay. Move through here. There's a door down there we've never gone through. Let's go ahead and explore that, children. Because I'm the completionist, I swear. This room is really cold. Where in the world could this awful chill be coming from? I don't know. Examine. This door is locked and there's no keyhole. Son of a bitch! This ink blotter is marked with the lines of many letters. Didn't mean to do that. This mountainscape is stunning and exhilarating. You can almost smell the mountain air. I'm glad I'm taking the time to do that. Well, you know, shit's going down. The scene through the dirty window looks pretty grim. Let's go back to looking at the mountain scene. Excellent. This leather couch has seen better days. Let's uh take a gander at this desk here. Open the desk. It's a card. What? The element's name and atomic number are shown. Copper, 29. Silver, 47. Gold, 79. Mercury, 80. Hey children, there was a clue we read in a scroll that relates to the order of these things. You all remember that clue? Take a moment right now and flip back to when I was reading through the scrolls. Copper, silver, gold, and mercury. This will become more important later. Lead, 82. Uranium, 92. Let's not forget those. Those are also important. But we're not going to keep that around. I don't need that. And since I don't need it, neither do you. 
Well, we've explored everything uh, down here except for one final room. Open the door. I did! You imagine that this is the game room. Cool. I like games. The scientific name for this painting must be Ugliest Maximus. The man in the painting gives you a penetrating stare. He seems almost alive. It's a chessboard, but you see no chess pieces. Scratch marks adorn this cabinet. Could they have been made when someone tried to open it? Let us try to open it. It won't open. It's locked. Oh shit. What if we use our key? Would it open then? Yes! Click! The cabinet is unlocked! Holy shit, it's a gyp doll! It's a gypsy doll, children. Oh my sides. What do I do? Let's examine the gyp doll. The old looking doll is shaped like a gypsy fortune teller. The detail in the doll makes you think that it is almost alive. Alright, let us speak with the gyp doll. It seems that no one has heard you. Bitch! Let us hit the gyp doll. Nothing happens. Fuck! Okay. I got it, everybody. Spell. Use. Doll doll. A weird voice emerges from the doll's lips. Talk to my pious brother. He can help you find your sister. A word from him can open doors in high places. You memorize the magic words. Oh, sesame! <laughs> you who sleep in the dark world, oh, sesame! Opens the door for the displaced. That's... that that's wonderful. Okay, everybody. Wait, what is that? No, it couldn't be. Until now, you'd only seen a gramophone in the movies. My science. Will there be tunes? You hear music being played. Yeah. This uh, music track is actually very fitting to be played here. Although it sounds distorted and weird as it should in this situation. And uh, as a matter of fact, the, the music grind... Ground Grind it to a halt because the it's broken. It's all broken. That track actually connects with the game Shadow Gate. Shadow Gate. I think it's Shadow Gate. Shadow Land, Shadow Realm, Shadow Gate. Man, it is too early in the morning. <laughs> I I don't remember. That's gonna bother me now. I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna put it out of my mind. So yep, yeah, there's a door back here. Leads us back here. So we've completely explored pretty much everything we can right now. It's the game. What the fuck? Holy shit. It's Disco Monster. You now have to question the reliability of your eyes. You think you see a somewhat cute abstract key creature with a key in its hand prance by. A key? Son of a bitch. Open the door. Oh dear. This room must be some sort of trophy room. You feel sorry for the animals that were killed only for sport. No, I don't. It's a large stuffed white bear. It would look better in the Antarctic. The skin of this large jungle cat has been made into a throw rug. What a waste. This moose head is really quite large. It's a rifle. It has been locked up so it can't be used by anyone. No, the key won't work. Hey, it's a cage for carrying animals. That sounds useful. Take. Alright, everybody. Let us open the door and sally forth into the outside. You're in the backyard. In the distance, you can see three buildings. You should leave what you don't need here. Hint, this is the only place in the game where you can drop items that you no longer need. Or the ruby, so you don't get your ass killed. 
we shall uh, save the game here. And uh, I'll do a little bit more exploring, but uh, I have gone on for a while with my gentle long play, kicking back and relaxing with this adventure horror game. And uh, even though it's fucking dark in my room, really it's because, I don't know, I don't know where my courage came from. It's certainly not liquid courage, I rest assured of that. So we have three buildings out here in the distance. We have, you wonder if the dome-shaped building could be some kind of laboratory. It appears to be a greenhouse. It looks like a ch church. What? What the hell? What? You see something move in the trees behind the building. Interesting. Can I examine the trees? The deserted land. Damn. I am intrigued. Pray teach me more of this nonsense. As you approach the building, you see that it is guarded by two menacing dogs. Dogs, you say. Why did it have to be dogs? Because bears would have been so much better. <laughs> well, I know what to do with this situation. One moment, please. I have an axe! Actually, there could be a, 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 a nice, kind way to resolve this situation peacefully. The dog bears his teeth at you and snarls. The dog bears his teeth at you and snarls. Hmm. Very well, I shall use my dog whisper ninja tag. The dog suddenly charges you. You are overcome by the canine savagery. The last thing you see is the dog's vicious fangs lunging for your throat. Then you wake up and everything's okay. It's just Nemo's dreamland. Oh. Your quest. Boo! You know what? I have an axe. And my axe! Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Cage. Good doggies. Good doggies, yes. Damn it. <laughs> Mm. Would you like flowers? No, that's silly. Okay, so here's the spell. Here's what we end up doing in order to dissuade these dogs from remaining in our way. Thunder! You shouted it as loudly as possible. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash, and you hear a loud peal of thunder. At this, the dogs recoil. They put their tails between their legs and scamper away. The door is now unguarded. Oh, okay. Open the door. You stand in solemn awe in this abandoned house of worship. You feel the presence of long dead worshippers. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's save the game. We've actually encountered a place where my memory is a little rusty. You can't do that. Damn it. Doll doll? Speak with the head. <laughs> hmm. I know what I can do here. I can take this, take the goblet. As you fill the goblet, apparently I decided to automatically do that, but I can't unscrew the cap from a fucking, you know, no ghost or whatever. You see the altar move to the side. Wow, you found a secret passage. Let's, let's hold on. Hold on, let, let, let's not get carried away here. I'm, let's see here. Now, I actually may... I, I'm getting the game a little confused and blurry with uh, what I presume is the uh, the Windows version, because it is different. When the flame is put near the candles, it starts burning. I want to take this. Take the candles. Now, there is a way to speak with this fucker. I swear to God. 
I mean, it's in the Windows port. He's got it. I've got to be able to talk to him. Use. Dada. You shout at Dada as long as possible. There we go. A weird voice emerges from the doll's lips. Talk to my pious brother. Oh, shit. Damn it. It's fucking the goddamn gypsy doll. Speak. You're the pious brother. Examine O Sesame. You sleep in the... Use O Sesame. There we go. I just, I wasn't using use. I was just automatically selecting the spell. The marble bus speaks. It moans these words. Okie Let the door be open for this poor strayed lamb, but he must not travel in darkness. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up the damn candles. Oops. I guess I could drop them. Hold on. Yes, we're, we're coming all the way back here. I'm sorry. I'll try to speed this up here. This is important. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I just wanted to show this to you. You saw how I lit the candles with the matches and then picked up the candles? This is what happens when you don't bring the candles with you. You step into a large yard. You can see a, see a stone maze in the distance. A horrifying apparition in the shape of a classic ghost swoops down upon you like a bird of prey. The strange, amorphous creature quickly begins to rip you apart. Its shrieking face is the last thing you'll ever see. Your quest is over. Oops! <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen, everybody. Because I totally did it right. You saw me do it right. Set the candles on fire. Take the candles. Now, uh, take this goblet here. Take the goblet. As you fill the goblet, you see the altar move to the side. Wow! You found a secret passage! You, you also reveal the secret passage, which you know, by the way, you're you're incapable of unscrewing the cap of a bottle of no-ghost. But you revealed the secret passage. Mm. Okay. Let's take a gander at it here. Under the altar is a dark hole, stretching down some 70 feet. The stale, damp odor of stagnant water rises up out of the hole. Okay. This doesn't sound bad. Let's, uh, explore a bit. You really don't want to climb down there. Oh, really? There is a spider down there that's bigger than a bread box. <laughs> what? No such things exist. You really don't want to climb down there. Really? That spider is bad news. Don't try to go down there. Well, then why did you reveal the secret passage to me? I don't try. Listen, if none of you children noticed, I have the spell. Stellini in my possession. Awake to a sleep, movement to still, six legs or more, bend to your will. Last time I checked, giant spiders usually have six or more legs, unless this is a cripple of a war. Of the war between spiders and wombats. I don't know. <laughs> that was the only... I had an opportunity to think of a predator of spiders there, and I choose wombat. <laughs> I... Wow. Good job, Grimeth. Way to go. A plus, man. A plus. Okay. So, you know, I shouldn't be worried. I totally got this shit in the bag, right? Right. You really don't want to climb down there. The spider that's down there would rip you to shreds. I don't believe you. Well, what do you know? It's a giant spider. It crushes your tiny body in its large, powerful jaws.
Your quest is over. That's right, children. The game warns you three times. If you still decide to persist, it doesn't give you the opportunity to use the spell. Certainly, Stellini is used on the giant spider, but not through that passage. I think you pretty much are ending up right on top of the giant spider, and you don't have an opportunity to cast a spell before it, uh, basically consumes your soul. Anyway, folks, that will, uh, I need a break. I've been recording for a while, and, uh, this footage has gone on for long enough, and get some to drink and everything. I will uh, absolutely sit back down to finish recording the rest of this. It's going to give me a little bit of time to rest here. So, uh, join you all in the next vid. Or would you join me, rather? Because we aren't finished yet with Uninvited. <laughs>